All right, I'm, uh, it began recording. And I have a small game. I would like to play a little game with you guys. I hope you guys want to play and I hope you guys like it. It, Mr. Is. Yes, no, maybe. <coughs> Okay, let's check it out. Hmm. <laughs> it's blurry. But here we go. We have a tongue twister. Now let's see. Do I have a volunteer? Uh, me, 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 teacher, if you permit me. If you allow me. Of course, sir. Go right ahead, Roberto. Okay, Chucks. Chuck's job was to chop chips. Chuck was a chip chopper. In fact, he was the top chip chopper. The chips were shipped to the chip chopping and to the chip ah, to the chip chopping shop and Chuck chopped the chips. The chip chopping shop also had a chip checker. checker. Uh, he checked the chips. Chuck chopped. Perfect. <laughs> was it easy? No. <laughs> no? Well, okay. a little uh, a little complicated because you have it, 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 it supposed the sense is that you read quickly quickly. Yes. But so, you don't have to do it either very fast nor perfect. I mean you did it good. You did a uh, good pronunciation, you correct yourself, that was great. Thank you, Roberto. Thank you, Thank you teacher. Can I have another uh, volunteer, please, for the next one. No? Okay, I'm gonna go down the the, uh, the list, okay? So the next one I have is Mario. <laughs> okay, ready? I'm ready. Yeah. All right, go ahead. Very bold about our butter, but the butter very bold was bitter. So very bit a bit of butter to make the bitter butter better. Oh, that was good. <laughs> uh, I had to focus and, and, and read letter by letter also. <laughs> yeah, but it's good. It, it was great. Okay. Uh, can I have another volunteer? One more. Uh, let me try. You? Okay. Uh, yes. Uh, Betty bought a bar at butter, but the butter Betty bought was bitter. So Betty beat a bit at butter to make the bitter butter better <laughs> perfect great thank you cristobal thank you okay now let's see uh can i have another one somebody else for the next tongue twister nobody okay let's go down the list let's see claudia okay okay how much wood wool a woodchuck chuck is a woodchuck cool chuck wood he will chuck he would as much of the cool and chuck as much wood and uh, as a woodchuck <laughs> will eat a woodchuck cool chuck wood good <laughs> okay. come to I, easter it's, it's a little complicated huh yeah. This is a little more difficult. Somebody would like to try this one? Yes, go ahead, Stephanie. Okay, let's see if I can do it. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? He would chuck, he would as much as he could and chuck as much wood as he would chuck wood if a woodchuck could chuck wood. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I just said. <laughs> I think you added an if. I don't, I'm not sure, but <laughs> give me a second, please. Oh, there it is. Okay. Now, who am I missing? Uh, Emmanuel, right? Emmanuel, can you, can you do this one, please? Wait, yes. there. 
I like this one. I hope you like it too. Yes, no, maybe. Uh, the same one? <laughs> oh, it, I changed it. Do you see a new one or not yet? Not yet. No. Not yet. Right. Let me stop the uh, sharing and I will share it again. Hold on a second. Oh, it's stuck. Good morning, it is. Your microphone, sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Good morning, guys. Good morning, teacher. Good morning, Edith. Good morning. There, can you see it? Yes. Yes. It says, can you say it? Two, three cheese, three trees, three free fleas flew. Why these flues fleecy breezy blue? Freezy, breezy made these three trees freezy. Freezy trees made these three trees freezy. That what made these three free. I don't know what is the last word. I can see it. Ah, that's that's what made these three free fleas. Is this? Nice. Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> Can I have another volunteer do this one? Uh, maybe me, teacher, if you go allow ahead, me. Ahead. Yes, go right ahead, sir. Uh, you throw, uh, throw three cheese trees, three flea, fleas flew. While this uh, fleas uh, flew, freezy breeze blue. Uh, freezy breeze made these three trees freeze uh, freezy trees made these trees cheese freeze that's what made these three free fleas sneeze uh, <laughs> it's, it, huh? no it, this is harder than the last <laughs> one that i made <laughs> yes that's right it's a little harder okay now let's see if i have another one Yes, uh, this one is repeated. I would like to, uh, uh, it is. Yeah, can I try? Yes, but uh, yeah, go ahead, pick one. But we already said two of them, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna cover okay. two. These two we already did, the woodchuck and the bitter butter. So either or, which one do you want to try? How about this one, Iris? The first one, Iris. Okay, can okay, I try? Ahead. Okay. Yes, <laughs> um, which one? Okay, Iris. Iris, rich match. Switch, rich match. I wish to wash it's, my ears. It's actually Irish wristwatch. Irish? Rich much? Pretty watch. Swiss? Swiss? Rich much? I Rich wish watch. to wash my Irish wristwatch. Okay. <laughs> uh, can I continue? Yes, please. Okay. I wish to wash my Irish Rich, rich watch, uh, which rich watches are switch and rich watches. What? Yes, something like that. Yes, something like that. Thank you. Now, do I have Evelyn? Good morning, Evelyn. Good morning. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. I was having a little trouble connecting. Well, it's good that you're here. Can you try one of these, please? Yes. 
Okay. Um, she sells seashells on the seashore. She sells the sells are seashells in shore. For if she sells seashells on the seashore, then I'm sure she sells seashore sells. Yeah, <laughs> something like that. Yeah, it's good. It's good. And the last one will be Luis Martinez. Are you there, Luis? I. Yes. Let me see if I have another one. And if not. Um, the same? No, this is something else. So let's repeat one of the previous ones. The, the iris? Hold on, give me a second. My computer is stuck again. Okay. Okay. Can you see the screen uh, with the yellow uh, background? Um, yes. All right. Can you do the, the first one, please? Betty, bo Betty Butter bought some butter, but she says the butter is bitter. If I put it in my butter, it will make my butter bitter. Okay. Thank you. Great. That was, a, 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 I think it was a good practice. We can try some other different uh, exercises later. And for today, we can begin with the class. Yesterday, we had some um, unfinished exercises, correct? Were you able to finish them? Yeah, well, my case, yeah. Okay. Did this one? I am. Um, I read it. I already read it. I remember some of it. I don't remember all of it. I'm not sure if we finished it. Do you guys remember? I I think we finished that exercise, teacher. We finished it. Yes. Okay. Good. What about this one? this was the homework right yeah yes it is okay so great so these are actually three questions and answers this was part of the homework and so yes. what's this wait this one right here correct yes okay now what i would like you guys to do we're, I'm gonna uh, put you in teams, in teams of three, and I uh, would like you to compare your answers. That's all you're doing. It's not practicing. It's only compare. What do you have for number one? I have this. What do you have? Well, I have that. Why? Yes. So share your answers. Uh, you can discuss and debate, and then we'll come back to the main session and check the correct answers. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's go. Okay. Perfect, guys. Didn't mean to interrupt. I, I thought you were working really good, but uh, we took some, some really good timing for you guys to, to practice and compare your answers. How was it? Were you able to finish most of it? Yes. We went to the house, I guess. I'm sorry? We, we checked. Almost a half. Okay. Almost a half. Okay. Uh, let's go with the answers, with the correct answers. So, what I can do is ask for your okay. opinion. Let's go for number one. Have you had an interesting? I'm sorry. Have you had any of interesting opportunities in the last couple of years? Last year, I. Joint. Joint. Simple past, oh, right? Wow. Simple past. Why simple past? Last year. Last uh -huh. year. I'm a right? Last year, I joined a gymnastics team. Since then, 
now we have the expression since then we what will that be and remember that we are using um past perfect or past perfect or simple past yes then uh-huh Present perfect. It's present uh, perfect. Sorry. Present perfect, yes. So since then we have, have competed, right? Competed. We have competed at several events, but so far we haven't won. Haven't. Haven't won. Haven't won. Okay. Great. Number two. Have you traveled much over the last few years? No, I haven't. Uh, what is the time well, expression? Uh, I didn't go. Yes. <laughs> last. Last year. So we have a specific time. So it's simple past. I didn't go. I didn't. I didn't went away. Actually, I didn't go. Well. Yes, didn't go because oh. we have the auxiliary in the past. So the verb, the action verb goes in simple form, in base. Okay. So we have. I didn't go away last year, but the year before, when I, mm, interesting. When I was studying? Yes, when I was studying. Why was? Because it is using the word when. Yes, when? yeah, we're setting a background. So okay. when I was studying. I was studying geography in college. Oh, we took. We took <clears throat> a trip to Alaska. That was what was easy. Great. And I haven't trouble. Haven't troubled much since. Haven't troubled. Yes. Oh. Haven't traveled much since. Perfect. Number three. What's been the highlight of your year so far? Actually, up until now, I haven't done. Haven't done. Perfect. Anything special because I was so busy at school. It's up until now. I have been. I have. Oh, shoot. What did I do? Up until now. I haven't done anything special because I have been working. Have, have been. Have been uh, so busy. I uh, have been busy. Have been so busy. Yes, with school. No. I I ah, have been working. Work. Have been working. Have been working. Good. Is there another opinion? I have only in person perfect. Sorry, guys, got distracted for a second. So, on this one, 
uh, I heard one opinion in this one right here. I heard have been working. Do I have another opinion? Probably simply I have worked. So I have. Have been working. And somebody else said have worked. Have worked. Uh, do I have another opinion? No? How about worked? Work. It's possible, right? Or you don't agree? Um... I think the the sentence uh, in the sentence the the words all year uh, make make me think that the year hasn't finished yet. Correct. The year hasn't finished yet. Maybe. Yes. Right. So what I do you think? Is I this think... work on the thesis? Work on my thesis. Is something that is still ongoing? Is something in the past? Something that began in the past and finished already? Or I think I uh, I think it hasn't finished because uh, after that. After that, there is a comma, and it says, so I haven't had much time for anything else. So this so is uh, giving you the clue? Maybe so. It's good. All right. So I, think, uh -huh. I think uh, the first one and the second one uh, are, are, correct. Right, are correct. All right. Like that, have been working or have worked? Yes. Perfect. What about so, um, the rest of you guys? What do you think? Um, I was thinking that actually the last one, when it is because I have been, um, I thought it was, I, I was so busy with school or because we have, up until now and then we can use have again. I have been working on my thesis. Yes. And have worked. <clears throat> so if I use right here, have worked. Well, I'm gonna do a uh, contraction to, to, to have space. I've worked. What happens to the rest of the sentences? I've worked on my thesis all year, so I... Haven't had. Haven't had. Okay. If I use here, having had, if I use having had, then this tense changes. Oh, wow. This needs to be different. I think it's, I have been working. I have been working? Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. What I can do is this. So if I say I've been working, I'm 
Yeah, which is good. I've been working on my thesis all year, so I haven't had. Much time for anything else. I took. Yes, I took a short break last week, though, and I was. I went. Went. Yes. Went. Okay. What I want to show you is that in these guys right here, on this one right here, I can change it and still make it correct. What would happen if I change it to, I'm picking a different color. I worked. What would happen? Will something, uh, would everything else be the same or would something change? Maybe it's the same because, because uh, you are referring that you uh, work uh, on, your, on the thesis all the year maybe the year is not uh, finished uh, yet but you are continue but you already um, but you already finished to work uh, on the thesis but it is, it is the same if you will uh, that i uh, i uh, well many teachers uh, have told me that maybe it's not a good idea to translate but i the thing that I do um, sometimes is just to translate on my mind uh, to Spanish, and if it is, if if there is a sense, so I could consider that uh, the option. You know? Okay. Sometimes when the, the the grammar functions the same way in English and it is as it does in Spanish, yes, it's okay to translate and it's okay to interpret, but when it doesn't, it's not a good idea. Now, most of the time, uh, the grammar rules don't are not compatible. That's why the, the main rule is don't translate. Uh, but on this case right here, if I say I worked on my thesis all year, like you said it, that means that the person finished working on the thesis, right? It's not referring that the year is finished. It's referring that the thesis is finished. So this second sentence, so... It will be simple past two. In I past think. time. Right? Yes. Didn't have. That's all I'm trying to show that uh, you can change it. You can do a couple of different things. And what changes is what you're trying to uh, share. Yes, one tense can change what you're referring to, whether the year or the thesis, yes? All right, can I uh, erase everything? Let's go back to the next one. Let's go uh, forward with the next one. All right, let's go. We're going to do this in a second. I want to check this. Number one, what? Have you learned? Have you learned? Yes. Since? Since you came here? Yes. Have you learned? Okay. Is there another way to uh, spell learn? Uh, with T at okay. the end. Only yes, T. T at the end. What have you learned since you came? Number two. 
How many friends? You have you made? Made. I hope you. Have already met. Yes, good. Have already met. A lot of interesting people. Number three. Last night, my roommate and I had had. had. So we went went to a show number four i just had yes i just had lunch but i didn't have didn't have lunch yesterday okay number five can you give me a complete sentence please who wrote the play hamlet yes Number uh, six. How many games has the team won so far this season? Perfect. Has the team won? Great. Number seven. I don't know Carol's husband. I have never met him. Yes, have never met him. Uh, number eight. It rained a lot last week, but it hasn't rained much so far this week. Perfect. It rained, but it hasn't rained. Number nine. How many letters have you written since the beginning of the month? Perfect. Uh, number 10. When we were on vacation, the weather was terrible. Perfect. The weather was terrible. 11. In her whole lifetime, Mary has never seen snow. Perfect. Mary has never seen snow. Uh, it's has or hasn't? Has. has. It will be has. Okay. In a positive because the, the adverb never makes it negative. Okay. So what happens if this Mary doesn't live anymore. Never saw. Never saw. Never yeah. saw. Okay. Okay, number 12. I don't know. I don't know where Amy is. Have you seen her? Perfect. Have you Have seen you? her? Number 13. And I got home last night. I was very tired and I went straight to bed. Perfect. All straight, simple past. Uh, 14. Your car looks very clean. Did you wash it? Did you wash it? 15. George wasn't very well last week. Uh huh. Wasn't very well. Uh, and 16. Mr. Clark worked in a bank for 15 years, then he gave it up. Perfect, worked. Yes. <laughs> Why simple past? Well, the reference I took, it was the part of then he gave That's it up. Correct, then. What happens if he we read it? Uh, Mr. Clark, Mr. Mr. Clark, have worked? Has. 
and has worked. Has worked, yes, that's what happened. Perfect, guys, thank you very much. That was good. Um, are there any questions? No, there aren't. Great. So all I want, all we have to do now is take a look at this. Did I send you this picture in the WhatsApp group? Um, hmm. If I didn't, can you take a, a, a picture with your cell phones, please? Ready? Ready. Okay, now we're going to go in sessions. Uh, again, in teams of three, please ask and answer the questions. Yes? And here we go. Yes. Okay, were you able to finish? Yeah. Yes, perfect, any questions? Uh, well, my case, no. Who am I missing? It is. Okay. All right. Then the next activity. So this was good. Now it says. I'm sorry, teacher. I'm here. Uh, it's okay. It is. You're good. So so far. Tell your group about three highlights in your life so far. Ask your classmates questions to find out more information. Now, yesterday, you had to write four sentences about yourself. We finished this? Yes. Yesterday, yes, we did this. Yes? Yes, we did it yesterday. Yes, I did. And then you shared it, right? Yes. Now yep. we, what we have to do is that you have to tell your group about three highlights in your life. So you just have to say it. Yeah, you share it. For example, a highlight would be um, this year I won the soccer tournament. Yes. Or I found a great job, just a highlight. And your classmates have to ask you more questions about the highlight. Yes. Where did you go? Where did you play? Um, how was it? Uh, did you have a difficult time, etc.? Yes. So do you have your highlight? already or you want to think about it no i am ready you're ready <laughs> my case in that case please let's give the the, the place to Ro roberto he will share with us his highlight and the rest of of us listen and ask questions to roberto okay bueno a, a highlight so for so far so far my life um well, a highlight so far, my my life is when I when I stayed uh, uh, six months in Montreal, Canada, in two thousand nine. It could be that that is one. My another highlight is when I started uh, my PhD program in 2015. And another highlight is when, um, when I, when I was uh, able to, to uh, maintain a conversation in French during almost an hour. Wow. <laughs> that, well, I, I think I, I could do that the same in English with, with uh, some limitations, but uh, I could do the same. So maybe we also to comment, uh, uh, I, I like English, but uh, well, 
I like more French, but uh, English is also necessary. In, in fact, I am I am in this course any because I need a certification, as I commented, uh, the first class to participate in the concurso de oposición. Just just that, but it's also interesting English. So thank you very much, uh, classmates and teacher too. Thank you, Roberto. So now uh, questions, guys. Do you have any questions for Roberto? Yes, I have one. Uh you mentioned that you went to uh, Montreal. Yeah. And Montreal. what? Yeah. Montreal. What the, oh, Montreal. Sorry. What yeah. do you do? What do you do oh. there? Do oh, you okay. For job oh. opportunity for. Well, just uh, well, actually, it was a uh, intermediate French course and the opportunity just to work some hours. Uh, uh, just that during uh, during six months from uh, January, uh, January, sorry, no, June to December 2009. Oh wow, that's great. Yeah, it was, and I can I I could master my French uh, and also English, but more French because it is a francophone. Uh, it is a francophone city right there. Uh, my skills, I could, uh, I could improve my and master my skills on French because, because my French was a little and it continues uh, being uh, limited. But I could master a little during the time I, I stay right there. Thank you. Another Thank question, guys. Me, please. Go right ahead. What, what do you consider in your travel? Was your first or the hardest limitation? Sorry, can you repeat the question? Okay, what do you consider was the the hardest limitation? Uh, hardest limitation in what? In in any kind, for example, uh, know, communication or the weather. I don't know. Well, maybe uh, maybe in the case of uh, well, I could consider uh, the hardest thing maybe to be a teacher is that you have to be perfect in everything and you have to organize completely your time because you have to you must uh, maintain a balance in all as the aspect of your life if you just focus in uh, in the study or the job maybe you can uh, you can um, you are not caring you are not caring uh, your family or in, in including your uh, relationships I mean friends or or couple relationships so you have you must have a balance and it is the hardest uh, thing I consider uh, to be a teacher you must be perfect in all and life demands a lot <laughs> yeah, exactly I think you cannot commit any mistake because you know your faith yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> that that's okay. including if a if a student uh, notice you are you are doing a mistake, they remark to you, "Hey, teacher, it's not like that." <laughs> but we are I'm we are humans. <laughs> yeah, we are humans. We are humans, but we the teachers must be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Thank you. Thank you. Very thank, much. You, thank you. Thank right. you. Now that's that's the activity, right? Uh, one student shares their highlights. Uh, one student shares his or her highlights, and and the other classmates listen and ask questions about that, uh, about those highlights. Okay, so let's go back on Teams again. Let's see uh, one more time. Uh, different Teams. And let's go. Good. All right. Uh, were you able to finish? Everybody was able to share their highlight? Yeah. Yeah, yeah great. Any interesting comments? Yes. Yes. What what was an interesting comment? The skydive of Stephanie. I know, I heard that. <laughs> she likes the strong emotions. Yes. 
<laughs> How many times have you done it, Stephanie? One. Only once? Yeah, only one, but I want to do it again. You want? Oh my gosh, you want to do it again. <laughs> yes, of course, I like it. It was well, cool. It was cool. Did you take a video or a bunch of pictures? Yeah, a little video. A little video? All right. But I don't uh, want to share it. It's kind of my, my face is... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> it's not cute. It's not cute. It's just to remember the, the moment. Well, that's good. Great. Uh, any other special uh, highlight? Any other interesting story? Emmanuel, oh? Emmanuel won a contest yeah. without knowing how to dance. <laughs> the yes, first one. place. Yes, we have a professional dancer with us. You, you can teach uh, you can teach dance on online classes of dance also. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, one, one day I did it and oh. in a presential uh, class, I cover my teacher, my dance teachers, and I give Zumba. It's kind of difficult, don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine. <laughs> there is your Zoom ID to, to have a session of dancing classes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> lessons, that's the title of the lesson. And uh, my computer is taking a long time to load this up. But while it does, can you tell me what do you see on the screen? Live lessons? I... Uh, something went wrong. Hold on, let me check. I don't know if it's my computer or the internet or maybe both. What do you think? About what? Life lessons? Or your technical problems. <laughs> ah. my technical problems. Oh, your technical problems? Yes. Maybe they could be both. I mean, the internet, you know, all the people is working at the same time. Well, but now the, we just start the vacation right now. I don't, maybe that's yeah. the computer. We are, we are on vacations. We are, yeah, well, we're on vacation, but we are, we are, um, I, so teacher, just correct me about the pronunciation, profiting or yeah. profiting. What do you mean? Making money? Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, I mean, uh, we are, um, uh, we are not many making money. It's uh, like we are, um, we are employing our time to learn uh, in, or to master to learn English in this case. And the majority or almost all the people are already on vacations, but I don't have, okay. Uh, it's the how can you turn an equivalence of aprovechar because I take advantage of take advantage of thank you teacher you're so, very welcome so you mean uh, people are taking advantage of the period vacation period to take we it? are we are taking that we we all of yes this we are yeah we are okay I have to uh I don't know what I have to do. But while this loads up, I want to ask you something. What is a life lesson for you? Uh, something that teaches you something, something that that teaches you something or or, a, or an event where you learn something. Okay. It's like, it's like a English class? No, nah, no, nah, not true. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, something, it's a uh, uh, life lesson is uh, um, an event or yeah, an event where you can learn something could be positive, could be negative. Uh, that is a life, an event, yeah. An event or or something that happens. So, All right. Yeah. Have you? Do you have any life lessons? Yeah, undoubtedly. <laughs> undoubtedly, right? Undoubtedly. On on. Ah, oh, wow. Undoubtedly. Yes, undoubtedly. Undoubtedly. Uh huh. 
there. Uh, is it difficult to learn English while you're learning French? Well, uh, actually, uh, I studied English more time than French. I have studied English during all my life, but uh, I can notice that uh, pronunciation, well, maybe I, I have, ma maybe, I don't know exactly, but maybe I have more competence on English than French, but uh, English have many regular, irregular form of pronunciation and French is more regular right there. Just you have to to learn correctly about the the deep tongues and trip or how do you deep tongues or trip tongues? Yes. Uh -huh. So you have just to learn uh, all well the, the letters and the majority are regular in English. Uh, I have uh, many surprises about the, the pronunciations. For instance, decision and decisive. Oh, I I go right. Uh, well, I surprise a lot because the pronunciation could uh, could change. No, so uh, that is a little hard. Just uh, all, always to to remember. And the problem is that we are teachers, so we must be perfect. Because maybe if we bad pronounce any word, and students notice that, so it's it's something terrible. <laughs> Well, it's not terrible. It happens. You have <laughs> no. mentioned we are human, human but, right? Yeah, human. but yeah, we are human. But you know, uh, the one, the thing I would I would suggest for you to worry about is when you make a mistake and the student doesn't recognize that it's a mistake and it sees it as a learned lesson, because then the student will carry that as a, a as part of their knowledge. Oh, undoubtedly. So that's a bit uh, uh, more important, I think, you know, to okay. cover yourself on those mistakes so the new student doesn't learn from a, a, a missed uh, explained uh, concept. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that's okay. uh, it's better. It's, it's finally loading up. Um, it's taking some time. Oh my gosh, I want a new computer. Oh, I didn't tell you, did I? My computer is broke. What happened? You want to know what happened? Yeah, I really want to know. <laughs> <laughs> my son broke it. Wow. I'm using oh. my wife's computer and, and see. Yes. Okay, the camera is a little, okay. All of this is when she's in class. This is her station. And mine, <laughs> it's, in, it's been used by my kids today. So I haven't used my station. And this is her computer as well, like my wife's computer. So that's why I turn off the video, the camera, to make to try and make it a little better. All right, now we are, I think, on the right track. There. So we have life lessons. What are life lessons, guys? I think uh, life lessons are those reflections that you do about what you didn't, but you have to do, and vice versa. Things that you did, but you didn't. I think this is a life lesson. Great. Another uh, opinion? No? Let's go for the next slide. Here. Where can you learn a life lesson? When? How? Uh, 
Uh, I think that could happen in any moment. I mean, we are humans. We we live uh, and life is complicated. And every single day we learned uh, something, something good, something bad. And yeah, it doesn't have to be in a specific time. Maybe you learn when you take uh, an important decision like if you have to take a new job or if you have the opportunity to move uh, in another country, maybe in those cases, that could be when you'll learn a lesson also. Perfect, that's a good opinion. One more time, let's go in group so everybody has a chance to participate. Let's go in first today, or I mean right now. There. There you go. I'm gonna send you these questions on the WhatsApp group. So go right ahead and go to the sessions, please. Hey, and you find a way to not repeat it again. Good, yes, there you go. I agree, what I about you guys? Yeah. Well, yeah. I, st I want to share something. Uh, yes. Uh, we were talking with Liz and we were talking that that always when we broke rules, so something negative happens and that's the way we learn to do the things right. right. <laughs> Excellent, thank you, Christopher. Good, now let's take a look at this story. Yes, I have this story and it, the title says, Living and Learning, an important life lesson. Now go ahead and read it, yes, and tell me what life lesson is this person talking about? <clears throat> All right, time's up. <laughs> tell me, what do you think is a life lesson? I know you're reading, but I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop the uh, the share screen, and I would like to hear your opinions. What do you think? What is the life lesson in that story? I don't know. Probably to to recognize the importance of people, uh, not depending on the activity that they realize or they do. Everything is important, and everything everybody is part of a process or a project, and everything is. That's good. That's good. Yes. That. What did you say again? Can you repeat that? The life lesson, Mario? To recognize the importance of people in everything. Okay. Good. Uh, somebody else has a, a, a similar opinion? Nobody? Let's go back to the story so we can check it. There. You point to us where is the life lesson? Mario, are you there? Yes, sir. Sorry. It's okay. Can you point to us where is the life lesson? Um yes, I think it's In the part of, I can find it. Over here, I guess. What's the name of the woman? What is the um, name? Of the woman? Okay, the Cleanse Electric Hall. Okay, is that the life lesson? Yes, and over here, when somebody asks me, but this part is when I, where I could understand the lesson. Okay, there you go. Great. So, what I have here. The last line says, I've never forgotten that lesson. <laughs> right there, you see? That lesson. What, what is the lesson? The janitor's name. 
what was the problem with it? The question on the exam was, what is the name of a woman who cleans the lecture hall? And is that a problem? The problem is that she didn't know her name because she never thought to ask her. Okay, now what do you think of this life lesson? Is it good? Is it not good? Is it important? Is it not important? What do you think? Yes, I think it's important. Uh, I don't know how to explain all of it, but I will say that it taught us how to not just focus on the on our job, not focus on the things we are working. It's like um, Mario said, it, we have to live, we have to be humans, we have to care about others. The, the, the student never thought about asking the name of the janitor because maybe she thought that wasn't important, but come on, I don't know, you spend like three or more years in a school, you have to at least know the, the name of the person who works there in any case, uh, you need to, I don't know, you have to be empatico. Okay. Empatico. Yeah. Yes. yeah, you have to, don't forget you're a human. You have to, I don't know, <laughs> to interact with, with the people, at least the name. Yeah, well, she said, this, this girl said, we'd even smile at each other. So she interacted with her. She just didn't ask her name, right? Well, I, I, I over here, I can infer that she only recognized she was a person, but uh, I think she's, well, she was not recognizing the value of that person. Probably she was uh -huh. only the person who cleaned it, uh -huh. but she was not going deeper and discover what was the importance. Uh, I mean, for instance, she was in a best place in a clean, what was a, in a clean lecture hall because of the function of the woman. So I think is where the value of the person was educated. Excellent. Thank you very much. I have another question for you. In your careers, what do you think the professor said? How do you think the professor answered the question? Go ahead, take a minute to think about it, okay? Would you like to work in teams or you want to work individually? All right, let's go in teams for only one minute, okay? Let's go in sessions, only one minute. Go ahead, let's go to the sessions, please. All right, are you ready? What are your opinions? What did the professor say? Uh, maybe you need to to be empathy. You need clown. To be, yeah, you need to be what? Be empathy. How do you Better? say? Empathy. 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 Yeah. empathy. I'm not sure <laughs> because empathetic is a different thing. Yeah. Thank you. How do you pronounce? How do you pronounce? Mm. Yes, go ahead, Claudia. In your career, you should know the name of the your people around. Okay, you should know the people, the name of the people around. Okay. Good. 
you should know the names, my gosh, of the people around. Okay, that's one opinion. Another one, you need to be empathetic, you say, right? Yeah. Okay. Yes. I think it's empathic. Empathic? I, I, um, I look for it on the translator and it's empathic. E M P A T H I C. Okay. It's only more common, but it's the same thing. So let's do empathic. Uh, teacher. Yes, sir. Sorry, yes. so I have to do something. May I leave now and come back after the break time? Go right ahead, sir. Okay, thank you. You're very welcome. Is there another opinion? No? All right, now let's listen to the audio and check what the professor say. <clears throat> Hold on, guys. Page 32, Lesson D, Life Lessons. One, Vocabulary and Context. B, Listen to the story. Did you have a similar ending? What do you think of the professor's response? Living and learning. An important life lesson. May 10th, 11, 13, 48 p.m. By Lorena. I've learned many things in life, but this is one lesson I learned early on. I hope it makes you think. Toward the end of my last semester in college, our ethics professor gave us a test. He had told us to expect one and had warned us it would count toward our final grade. I had been struggling with the class all semester because I'd missed a number of classes and I'd fallen behind on my work. But by the day of the test, I had caught up on all the work and I felt pretty confident. Sure enough, 40 minutes into the test, I had finished all the questions except the very last one. What is the name of the woman who cleans the lecture hall? I thought it was a joke. I'd seen the woman many times. She was short, with dark hair, in her fifties, and she'd been working in the building for at least a year. We'd even smiled at each other once or twice. But I didn't know her name, because I'd never thought to ask her. I turned in my test and left the last question blank, hoping I wouldn't get penalized too badly for it. But then one student raised his hand. He hadn't finished the test either. I'm just wondering, he said and paused. Will it really affect my grade if I don't complete that last question? Our professor smiled. Absolutely, he said. In your careers, there will be many people who help you. They are all important. At the very least, you should know their names. I've never forgotten that lesson. I also learned that the janitor's name was Sherry. All right, guys, now go ahead, talk to each other and share your opinions. What did the lady say? Let's begin with this. Did she say you should know the names of the people around? Yes, more or less. You need to be emp empathic. No? Mm. You want to listen to the last part again? Yes, please. Yes? All right, let's go for it.
He hadn't finished the test either. I'm just wondering, he said and paused. Will it really affect my grade if I don't complete that last question? Our professor smiled. Absolutely, he said. In your careers, there will be many people who help you. They are all important. At the very least, you should know their names. I've never forgotten that lesson. I also learned that the janitor's name was Sherry. All right, what do you think? That, well, I think that uh, everyone that help that helps you in any way is important and we should value all the work that is done around us, not just uh, with our partners or our bosses. Um, everyone is important from the people who clean, the one who um, takes out the garbage from what our um, our um, boss and everyone around our work is important. Yeah, it's important. Uh, so how can I complete this sentence? In your careers, what? Let's take a look at the answer. It says, in your career, many people. Yeah. No. Yeah. Continue. Uh, many people help us. I don't listen well. Question. My professor smiled. Absolutely, he said. In your careers, there will be many people who help you. They are all important. At the very least, you should know their names. I've never forgotten that lesson. I also learned that the janitor's name was Sherry. Great, guys. Very good. So what do you think of this life lesson? What do you think of the professor's response? He was definitely right. First of all, he was an ethics teacher, I guess. So um, if they were studying for in order to be professionals, I think they need. Yeah, let's go in groups to, uh, to uh, talk about this question. Yeah, share your answers. And uh, we'll only do it for two minutes, okay? Excellent, thank you very much. I heard some opinions, they were interesting. Did you hear an interesting opinion? I All right, I guess we're all uh, wanting to go to our breaks, right? Yes? Okay, let's go to break. Yes, let's go have some coffee. Let's go eat a little breakfast or something. I'll see you in 20 minutes. Okay, thank you, teacher. Right. Thank you. All right, guys, see you. Perfect. Before break time, you guys share your opinion about what the professor said. Okay, can you share with me what do you guys talk about? Let's see, Mario, can you share with me and with us? What was your response? Okay, uh, about the, the answer, we were saying that it was, in my opinion, uh, totally correct because they were being prepared to be professionals so one of the most important things when you are a professional or you are developing a profession is that you are going to be surrounded by people and all of them are important and uh, 
an important thing I could notice it was at least know their names. So this is the minimum part that you should know in order to be more professional. Thank you, thank you. Let's see, who else do I have? Cristobal hasn't gone here yet, right? Cristobal and Iris. What about you, Luis? Oh, Luis is not here either. What am I saying? What about you, uh, Emmanuel? What do you think? What was your response? The, well, we, I think that it's kind of important to to be polite with those people who help us in every single situation with empathy, I think is the correct pronunciation. Yeah, right. yeah. And also, well, in my case, I'm so bad with names, so I think it's so important to, to learn the names of the people, those people who help you, to yes. don't get confused. And I think it is, it's important to to know them. Yeah, it's important to not get confused, right? Yes, that also. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, let's see, somebody else. Uh, Claudia, can you give us your opinion, please? Yes, teacher. The professor, the, uh, the professor said it's important for all of us. It's a uh, in that don't for, don't forget because we need the help of other people and we need to know the other people we need to be polite okay can you repeat the, the first part again please i i didn't hear correctly <laughs> okay that the teacher, the professor said, uh, I agree with the, with the professor. I, I agree. Because it, yes, I agree. I, no, I'm. I, I am. I. I, yes, I yes, agree. I. <laughs> Is it? Okay, yes, thank you. Thank you, Claudia. And uh, who, Cristobal, are you there? Yes, I am here. All right, what do you think of what the professor said? Uh, so I think he's right because in our lives, uh, we are going to meet every kind of people and some of those people, um, some of those people can help us and we also can help them. So uh, I think that we should be respectful as Claudia said, we should be respectful with everybody and polite. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Now, let's continue with the next slide. I send this to your WhatsApp. But for now, what you have to do is individually answer the questions individually. Uh, let's give you two minutes for this, and at the end of two minutes, we'll compare some answers, okay? Go ahead, individually in your, in your notebooks if you want to. All right, guys. Are you finished, or you need more time? Finished, teacher. Yes, everybody's finished? One minute, teacher, please. Well, okay, go ahead. Take one more minute. Ready, guys? Yes? Perfect. Let's take a look at this. Number one, why was the ethics test an important test? Did you hear me? Yes. yes I have a microphone. Yes, All right. So, number one, why was the ethics test an important one?
perfect. I know. <laughs> what um, we're going to do is read the story. Now I'm sending you this page right now to your WhatsApp, to the WhatsApp group. There, you already have it. Okay, I have an answer, okay. teacher. Yes. Well, because it gave the students not just a test, it was a life lesson. Okay, now what you're going to do is look at the uh, story. Yes, and find your answers and compare your answers, okay? So let's go in the groups. Hello guys. Are we ready? Yeah. Perfect. 
now what I would like you to do is uh, please talk to your classmates, to your fellow classmates from different groups and come up with the answers. Number one, why was the ethics test an important one? And highlight the answer in the text. Yes, can we do that? Yes. All right, let's make teams to make it, uh, let's see if we can uh, work a little better. So, perfect. I hope you don't mind if uh, we're just making teams. Yes, and to make it faster, we're going to work. Evelyn, Claudia, Stephanie, and Iris will be team number one. Mario, Roberto, Manuel, and Cristobal will be team number two. Yes. All right. So team number one, you can begin. You ask the question, question number one. Team number two will have to answer. And when you finish, we change roles and then question number two and the other team answers. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. So do we do it now? Yes, go ahead. Okay. So the first question is, why was the ethics test an important one? All right, guys, it, team number two has to answer. And team number two. It, it's because it counted toward her final grade. Yes, I agree with the answer key gave. Question number two. What was Lorena's experience with her ethics class? She had been struggling with the class all semester because she missed a number of classes. May I read number three, teacher? Yes, go right ahead. What problem did she have with the test? She didn't know how to answer the last question. Mm -hmm. I agree. Number four, my eyes, teacher. Yes, go right ahead. Okay, thank you. Why was she concerned that she would get penalized? She turned her test and left the last question in blank. Ladies, the last question. How did the professor answer the student who raised his hand? Smiling. Perfect. All right, guys. Thank you very much. So you have some correct answers. I agree with every one of you. Now let's take a look at this question. How did the professor answer the student who raised his hand? Mario said, uh, smiling. Everybody agrees with the answer? Yeah, smiling yeah. and 
he also said something no, about that it will affect the later on on their careers. Okay. So he smiled and said, right? He smiled and said, in your careers, Do you remember what he said? There will be many people who help you and they are all important and something about it is important to, to know at least their names. <laughs> Excellent, thank you very much. So there are the, the answers. Yes, answer number one, number two, number three, number four and number five. So you have all the correct answers, thank you. Now, how many expressions from the blog can you find that include these words? Add other ideas. Take turns using each expression to ask a partner a question. Now, individually, go ahead and complete this vocabulary chart. Oh, gosh. Oh, it's right here. Yes, this is the text. All we have to do is complete this chart and you can do it in your notebooks. Go ahead. complete your work okay perfect you have that question we'll do that in one second what about the rest of you guys thank you are you doing okay you need some help you have a question i'm struggling with your work too yeah you too all right well does anybody have an idea what to say there i had caught up on your work Maybe. all right you can use your computer and with the computer you can highlight the areas that you want to show like the example for example i can highlight your hand like this can you highlight uh parts of the text mm, give me a moment sure Do you, everybody knows how to use the, the, the annotation tools? No. <laughs> no. All right, on your screen, on the top part, you should see view options. Perfect, so I have a couple of opinions so far. Now let's all together work. What do you have for a class? Only miss, right? There is nothing else but miss. Correct? Yes. Yes, sir. What? What is that? Struggling with. Struggling. Yes. So what will be the uh, the, the the verb? It will be struggle. Struggle. Okay. What about a great? What do you have for a great? Um, get. Get. I have final. Um, mm. But here you have a great effect. Uh, yeah, count. That, what? Count. 
account, it, think no. it, would be in, it wouldn't be complete. Count tower? Right, it's right here. Yes, count tower. There you go. Is there another one? Affect word. Can you find it? Yes, affect. Perfect. Uh, next will be a test. What do you have for a test? Finish a test. Finish, yes, perfect. So finish the test. Is there another one? Have a text, uh, sorry, have a test. Have a test, perfect. Another one? Turn, Turn in. Turn in, yes. Where is the half a test? I can't find it. Sorry, it's right here. I was reading somewhere else. Give us a test. So what do we have so far? So far we have give a test, finish a test, and what else? Turn in. A test. What about your work? What do we have for your work? It will be cut up. on now this one is in past or in participle so the simple present will be catch up catch up on is there another one Feel behind. Oh, fall behind. Oh, fall. Behind. There. That's it, right? What about your hand? Raise. Yes. Raise your hand. There is no other one for your hand, right? That's it for the hand. Now, a question. Left. Yes, a question. Here we have all the questions. I don't see that. So, 
complete a question will be good. Yes. Um, another one. What else can it be? Finish. Finish. Yes. What else? Left. Yes. And in simple present? Leave. Leave. Leave a question. Incomplete. Mm, sure, but what's on the, on the text? It's the first one. It's the first one. Leave a question blank. There you go. Is that enough, uh, Roberto? Mario Alberto? Uh, yes, Roberto? Uh, yes. Oh my gosh. Let me do correct this. Uh, this one is incomplete. It's fall behind on. Fall behind on your work or catch up on your work. That's what we have. Are there any questions here? Okay. The next thing we have to do is make questions using these expressions. Yes. Take turns using each expression to ask your partner a question. Now let's have this example. With number one, the struggle with a class or miss a class. What questions can we ask? Have you struggled with a class? Yes, there you go. Have you missed a class? Have you struggled What else? Another question? Uh, no more question? Go ahead, take you, a minute. Have you fallen, have you fallen behind on your work, on your work, on your that's job. It. That's it. Yeah, that too. So have you fallen behind? Another question? Roberto? Um, you can go ahead and type the question, please. Has a teacher... Uh, I write the question? Yes. yes. Okay, okay. Your question, please. okay, okay, okay. Yes. Uh, Everybody else, uh, can you give me another question? Oh, wow. sorry, teacher. I am. Um, uh, 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 what happened? Mario, sorry. Evelyn, Claudia, Stephanie, can you think of Have you counted toward a grade? Uh, that wouldn't be an accurate question. Okay. Would that be a correct question, sir? Sorry, did you raise your hand? Good, that's a good question. Did you raise your hand, yes. Yeah, can you complete the question, Mario, please? Ah, let me try and this and do this. There. Make three more questions, at least three more questions. Can you help me? Um. Uh, ha
Something with give a test, finish a test, or turn in a test. Ah, sorry for the orthography. Before I ate oh, the E. Yeah, sorry, right there. Let's see. Did you Before. Complete the, questions? complete the questions. All right, good. There are good questions. Will you finish the test before the class ends? All right. Before is missing one E. Aha, uh -huh, yeah. Uh. There. Okay, thank you. Perfect. So we have the questions, right? We have a great hand test question, work, and class. You want to go ahead and write your questions in your notebook because we have to go in sessions and you have to ask and answer the questions. Or would you like to take a picture of the of the screen? Are you ready? Yeah. All right. Great. Um, we have this activity right here. Vocabulary notebook. Let's go as fast as we can. Catch up. Learning tip. Writing definitions. When you learn a new expression, oh, wow. When you learn a new expression, write a definition to help you remember it. For example, this is only an example. Struggle with a class. I'm gonna put it in red. What is a struggle with a class? Well, this is the definition. If you struggle with a class, then, or that means you have a difficult time with it, right? And then here we have, for example, because the work is hard or there's too much to do, yes? So this is an advice to you. Do this for yourselves, by yourself, to help you learn more vocabulary. Yes? Now let's do this real quick. Complete the definitions with a correct form of the expressions in the box. Can somebody help me read the expressions in the box? Me teacher, may I? Go right ahead, please. Affect your grade, count towards your final grade, Leave a question blank. Catch up on your work. Fall behind on your work. Raise your hand. Perfect. So all we have to do is complete the sentences. And what this is, is the expression and the definition. Right? So if you raise your hand, that means you put it in the air to get someone's attention. Put it. What is it? Esto yo. Your hand. It is your hand. You just don't repeat the noun. What is someone? Who is someone? You. The teacher, right? The teacher or the presenter or the person is speaking, the boss. Great. So that means that this one is already used. What about number two? Somebody help me with number two. Yep. Go ahead. 
if you count toward your final grade, I mean, no, 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 no. If you fall behind on your work, you can't do all the things you are supposed to do on Perfect. time. Perfect. Fall behind on your work. Can you please type it, Stephanie? Can you type it? Yes, no, maybe. Next, number three. Who can help me with number three? Um, if you leave a question blank, you don't write an answer to it. Yes, can you please type it? Yeah. Okay. Number four. Number four. Okay, let's go by the list. Claudia, can you do number four, please? Hey, teacher, if test or assignment. Fall behind on your actually that's already taken okay if this or assignment they are part of your final score affect your grade yes uh actually no i'm sorry my mistake oh. uh, i'm sorry i don't know if i misunderstood understood okay the first time you mentioned this one count towards your final grade hmm. i don't know if i misheard you but did you mention that one yes teacher then that is the one okay can you type it please yes thank you uh, number five. Roberto, can you please help me with number five? Um, if assignments uh, affect your grade, they can make a difference. No, catch up on your work. No, I, no, no. the first one you said. But there is no a, a pleonasm because affect your grade, they can make difference to your grade. Remember, it's a definition. A definition means an explanation of what it is. Okay. It's a, it's a, if, assignments affect, if assignments affect your grade, they can make a difference to your grade. Perfect. Uh, Cristobal. Can you help yes. me with number six, please? Okay. If you if you catch up on your work, yeah, you do all the work on your decks that you had to do, or that is late. Perfect. That is correct. Can you type it, please? Okay. Mm -hmm. This is conditional zero, right? Okay, yeah, let's count, let's let's uh, mention it that way. But the purpose is not to study conditionals, but okay. for you to learn new vocabulary, writing definitions. That's it. Okay. Yes, I'm gonna do it like this. Look. Raise your hand equals where fall behind in your work equals leave a question blank equals yeah is that better yeah and so forth okay
All right, do you want to uh, take a picture of this screen? We have to move on to the next one. Are you ready? Yes. yes. All right, now let's do this one. Now write definitions for these expressions. Let's all together just, just talk, just chat. A definition of miss a class. Um. Do not enter, skip it. Do not assist. Do not assist. Do not attend. Okay. You are absented. You are not, you are not assisting. Or you are not present in a class maybe, right? Okay. Or like uh, Roberto said, you, you are absent from a class. What about number two? Complete a question. What is the definition? Answer the question. Answer a question. Perfect. Number three, turn in a test. Deliver a test. Deliver a test. Uh, that wouldn't Take. be the, the correct definition. Take a test. Take a test wouldn't be complete. Mm -hmm. Don't the this test. You are going to start? <laughs> Turn in a test. If you don't. Don't a test. Don't a test. Finish a test. Finish a test. It's not, it is, it is not the correct definition. It's not the, the complete definition. It is done. When the test is done, then give it to the to the teacher so there, he can when you and he can give it back yeah. to great oh, give it back yes oh, yeah give it back ah. after you finished okay yes turn in a test what about number four answer all the questions answer all the questions in a test great mm -hmm. take a picture of this screen and this will be homework please And tomorrow we'll compare answers. Yes? Okay. Are you finished? Can we move, move on to the next one? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Now you can take a picture of this. This will be up to you. This is a suggestion and advice for you to learn a bit more English. Tell me what you finished. Yes? All you had to do was take a picture of it so yes. you can study later. Now, sequencing events. We're going to go back to the test, the story of Lorena's story. When she learned the life lesson. She was in a class, she did a test, she finished it, and she left the question blank. Remember? Yes. Okay. When did each event below happen? On the day of the test? Before the day of the test? Write D or B. What do you notice about the verb forms? Number one, the professor gave us a test. That happened on the day? Of the test. Of the test. The Letter D. Letter D. What about number two? Before. Number. What? D. Letter B. Uh -huh. Letter, Letter B. Letter B. Before. Number three. Uh -huh. Before the test. Uh -huh. Before. Four and number four. Letter, letter B. 
Uh -huh, letter B. B. Okay. That means I have uh, two and two. I have two Bs and I have two Bs. What do you notice about the verb forms? They are in different tenses. The, yes, all of them. All four of them are in different tenses. Or what do you mean? Uh, well, uh, number one and number two are in past simple. Number one and two? No, a number four. one or four, four, sorry, one and four. And uh, number two is in past perfect, and number three is in past perfect continuous. Okay, perfect. Now let's check that out. Okay. Here we have this, and I like what uh, Roberto said. Let's look at the grammar chart. The simple past, past perfect, and the past perfect continuous. Okay, listen and read at the same time, please. Page 33, two, grammar, sequencing events. The simple past, past perfect, and past perfect continuous. Use the simple past for two or more events that are part of the same past time period. Past event one, he raised his hand. Past event two, and asked a question. He raised his hand and asked a question. Use the past perfect for an event that is part of a time period before another event in the past. Earlier past event. He had told us to expect a test. Past event. We took it last week. He had told us to expect a test. We took it last week. Use the past perfect continuous for background, ongoing or temporary events or situations. Ongoing earlier past event. I'd been struggling. Past event. But I felt confident on the day. I'd been struggling, but I felt confident on the day. In conversation, people often use the past perfect to give reasons or explanations. I didn't know her name because I'd never thought to ask her. All right, now let's take a look at some examples. Remember, we're working with a simple past, past perfect, and past perfect continuous. This is a timeline explaining where each tense occurs. We have the present, the future, and of course, the past. The simple past is a one-time event in the past. The past perfect, it's a simple event prior to a simple past event. Remember, the past perfect exists only if we have one simple past. If we don't have a simple past before, then this one becomes only the past, okay? Then we have the past continuous, what did I do? Past continuous and the past perfect continuous. Now, they don't always go together, but for them to, to be uh, correct, this past perfect continuous needs to have a prior story, something more. 
let's take a look at some examples in sentences. Simple past, the power went out. Past continuous, I was eating dinner. Oh, you're doing. Past perfect, I had gone home. Past perfect continuous, it had been raining. How can I make this, how can I put these sentences together? Okay, so if I say the power went out and I also say I was eating dinner, I need an expression to connect the sentences together. What would the expression be? A while? While? No, that wouldn't be the correct connection. When? When? Yes, that would be a good one. Huh? The power went out when I was eating dinner. Great. Now, how can I connect? Uh, I had gone home. I had gone home when the power went out. Correct. We moved the position of it, right? Mm -hmm. I had gone home when the power went out. Great. How can I include the past perfect continuous? Okay, we can do it like this. It had been raining, comma. I had gone home and the power went out. Now, let me erase this. And I'm just going to include and. Now, what are we doing? We are sequencing events. Now, here I have more examples. Express a past action already finished when another past action happened. I met them after they had divorced each other. Yes. So we can call this uh, event number one and two. One is the oldest, two is the newest. So on this example right here, event number one, the oldest, will be divorced. Event number two will be I met them. Correct? Yes. Okay. Another example is emphasize the result of an activity in the past. I had been to London twice by the time I got a job in New York. That means that event number one, the oldest, I had been in London. Event number two, the newest, I got a job. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Example number three. I couldn't take my flight because I had forgotten my boarding pass. There. So I couldn't take my flight would be event number take my two. two. Mm -hmm. I had forgotten my boarding pass would be event number two. 
No, uh, one. one. And then we have the other one as perfect continuous. Describe a past action which started in the past and continue to happen after another action or time in the past. Example, Sarah had been working here for two weeks when she had the accident. What would be event number one? Sarah had been working? Yes, had been working. And event number two? She had the accident. Had the accident, yes. Next, emphasize the duration of an activity in the past. Example, Richard needed a holiday because he had been working hard for six months. Event number one? He had been working. Yes, and event number two? Richard needed a holiday. Perfect. holiday. And the last one, show the cause of a past action. I had been traveling all night, so I was tired. Event number one? I had been, had traveling. been traveling. Event number two? I, I was, was tired. tired. Yes, perfect. Now, look at this. Let's work in teams. All we have to do is use the correct form of the simple past, the past continuous, past perfect, or past perfect continuous. Okay, I think I sent this to your WhatsApp. I'm gonna send you three images, but you only have to work on this one that we have on the screen right now. Yes? Okay. Text, let's do it in teams of, let's see how many are we. Right there, three teams of three. And let's go. I'm good, then. Um, Ready, guys? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Maybe. We didn't finish. <laughs> You finish? Okay, let's finish all together, okay? This is part of the exercise. So let's begin. Jack Williams was 16 years old in 1940. He lived with his family in a small house in Liverpool. Tom had, had, had. Tom had a job in a factory. He, he had worked. Yes, everybody agrees? He had worked? Uh -huh, he had worked. OK, next. One day, Tom? Walked. No, he's not walked. Was walking? Was walking, right? Was walking. Was walking along the road when, I'm sorry, along the road to the factory when he met, 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 met. Kathy. Kathy was younger than Tom and she had <laughs> and it's a connection so Kathy was younger than Tom and had, had stayed. She stayed. Been. No, or she had been. No, not she. She had. Okay. You had have connected. So Kathy was younger than Tom and had mm. been staying. Oh, okay. And had been. Yes. This connects yes. right here. tells us that we can continue the story with this subject. So we don't need to say she. Okay. Yes. Okay. Kathy was younger than Tom and had been staying with her aunt since her mother died. Tom 
Was? Was surprised to see her so early in the morning. Where are you going? He asked. To the Smith's house, she replied. They offered. Offered. They offered me a job in the kitchens. Okay. Are there any questions? No. No. Good? Great. Now, Daniel forgot his passport on his last vacation. Has this happened to you before? Um, yes, but no, no on vacation right here in Mexico. <laughs> I bet that was the story. Well, this little story, it's a challenge for you. It's not homework. It's a challenge. Whoever wants to take on the challenge because I didn't write the verbs. That will be for you to imagine what verbs they are and then we can work on it tomorrow. Okay. okay. What we're going to do now is this. I send you this on the WhatsApp group. Now, this will be homework. This is one and this is two. These are the same story. Or actually is one story that continuing the beginning and the end. Okay, this section will be with simple past and past perfect. And the story continues here using the past perfect and the past perfect continues. This will be homework, okay? And again, you don't have to send the homework. We'll compare answers tomorrow and we'll check the correct answers tomorrow, okay? Yeah, teacher. Yep. Okay. Perfect. And tomorrow we'll continue with this and the next lesson, okay? Yes. Okay. Okay, so how was the class, guys? Excellent. A little, um, well, a little complicated with things that we suppose we have to master completely, but we don't. Well, at least in my case. <laughs> well, I think you're having uh, plenty of time to practice. What about what about you? What do you think? Are you practicing enough, or you need more practice? Uh, well, I am. I am practicing. Maybe. Maybe I need a little more practice in order just to have uh, more possibilities to obtain a good score in the certification uh, exam. So just that because I, I, I know already all about the, well, the tenses about the, you are explaining. I, uh, in fact, I have explained that kind of tenses to, to my students in in my presential before the presential and online classes. Not not exactly, not completely in English sometimes, but I already have explained. But uh, that kind of tenses applicated it exercises, and when you have a limited time and you have to read, you have to different contexts. It could it could complicate a little if you don't focus uh, exactly uh, on the activity, but that's good teacher. Yeah, that depends of each one of uh, us to, to increase just the practice. All right, anybody agrees with Roberto? Yes. Yes? Does anybody disagree? No. <laughs> okay. You guys are all taking this course because you guys are after the same objective, a certification. It would be a very good idea for you guys to uh, to get type of uh, um, to go to an agreement to uh, organize each other's uh, schedule. So you can have some time to practice besides the class. 
Yes, you can practice maybe 15, 20 minutes after lunch or before dinner or before bedtime. Whatever you guys can arrange. It doesn't have to be everybody. As long as two can get together, that would be good for you guys to practice. Yeah? If you can make yes. different teams, different hours, whatever. You know, Stephanie can get together with Claudia on Fridays at 4 p.m. You know, maybe Emmanuel with Emily. <laughs> Saturday at 10 a.m. It doesn't matter. Either Sari can go to the border and return the same day. She doesn't have any problem. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would like I would like to live in TJ because it's near of the of the state, so you border. have the opportunity. Yeah, the border in this case. Yeah. <laughs> so there you go. So we have the homework, and you guys can uh, get to uh, in touch with each other and uh, set some time aside to practice. For now, that's it. Uh, are there any questions before we, we leave? No? Perfect. Um, I'll start. Thank you. Uh, well, just, uh, well, not exactly of this class. Um, I want to know if you will provide uh, uh, before the course ends uh, any recommendations or suggestions to present the exam, maybe? You will have two okay. separate exams. Okay. okay. One will be exactly uh, a week from today, next Wednesday. You will have one simple exam. Yes, based on the uh, uh, on the results of that exam, we'll have a, a chat. We will we'll review some answers and we'll see what we need to do to proceed. When the course is over, you will have a second simple exam. Okay. Well, yeah. Thank you very much. You're very I'm already welcome. nervous. <laughs> it's a simple exam. It doesn't count. It's only for you to see your level and for me to know how to help you. Yes, that's all. That's that's why it's called simple. A simple exam. I know. <laughs> but they're so far. They make people nervous. They make all of us nervous. Yes. All right. Well, thank you guys. Have a great day. Yes, we'll see you tomorrow. And take care. Okay. Thank See you so much. You. Thank you. Have a nice day. See you tomorrow. Have a nice day. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow.